What's shaking, Hardwood Nation? I'm Griffin Ratcliffe, Nelsonville York reporter, and alongside me is my fellow Nelsonville York reporter, Matthew Cudahy, and the Nelsonville York Lady Buckeyes have won their second straight sectional tournament, and what's that mean? Uh, well, now the uh, Lady Buckeyes will be going on to the uh, the, the district's uh, semifinals, and uh, you know if they win that, they'll be going on to the district finals, to so looking to uh, repeat just like last year, and uh, you know keeping up uh, that uh, that winning mojo. You know. Yes, the Shawnee Scene Center would be nice, but what happened with their game today? Uh, well, today, you know, uh, they played the uh, Lady Marauders, and Meg just couldn't find their mark today. You know. Um, uh, Nelsonville, you know, Nelsonville, York, they, they really dominated the paint, you know, they, uh, it was a close first quarter, but uh, in that second half, uh, that second quarter, you know, they went on that 19-3 run, and uh, from there, it was, uh, they basically had it, they took it. Yeah, Meg's only shot 30%, and they just couldn't find, they couldn't find open shots, they could, and once they did find open shots, they really couldn't make them, and what's that, how did they do? Yeah, I mean, it was, uh, you know, like uh, like the coach said, you know, they really, they, they uh, relied on their defense, and uh, the defense led to the offense, you know, that full court press, you know, they got him right out of that inbound, and, uh, you know, that led to a lot of steals, Jesse Addis uh, totaling five steals today, and, uh, you know, and again, just dominating the paint, you know, getting those, uh, the defensive rebound, rebounds, and, you know, pushing it, you know, pushing that pace. Um, I thought that you know defensively uh, we were able to, to kind of capitalize on some things they were trying to do offensively and um, when you when you can allow your defense to let your offense work um, I think that's what really what happened today. Yes NY did have a lot of dominance throughout the game but what really happened with Meg? Why couldn't they find their mark? You know Meg's, uh, Meg's had a tough time today you know they, they you know even when they had their open shots they had a tough time uh, you know finishing and then you know, even trying to get to the paint, penetrating that paint, it was it was a tough time for them because they had uh, you know Madison Davis, Caitlin Hurd down there, you know, real uh, you know big rim protectors, and so you know Meg's had a tough time finishing, getting shots, getting shots off, you know, having to uh, deal with the defenders on uh, NY, and then also you know that full court press that NY applied, you know, that was tough for um, the Lady Marauders to you know handle, you know, that, right away on that inbounds pass, you know, they were right in their face, so you know that that led to many turn turnovers today and. Uh, Overall, it was just it was very uh, sloppy offense, but you know you have to give credit to the defense at NY. Yes, and NY will face Chesapeake on March 2nd, and if that isn't enough for you guys, TVC fans, you can stay up to date on all tournament action using our website at wb.org/heroes. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Hardwood Heroes, and you can also follow us on Instagram at WB Sports. Using our new hashtag, shoot for the shot. For Matthew Cudahy, I'm Griffin Ratcliffe reminding you, be heroic.